Good evening and welcome to our Senior Awards program. Today we gather to formally recognize the outstanding accomplishments of our seniors. We hope that you enjoy the program and wish each of our seniors a successful career. Enjoy the show. Superintendent Scholar, given to students who have met the following criteria. GPA of 4.0 or higher through the first semester of 12th grade, SAT score of 1250 or 700 on one of the subtests of the SAT, or ACT composite score of 28 or higher. The students listed are recognized this year as the Superintendent's Scholar. National AP Scholar, granted to students who receive an average score of at least four on all AP exams taken and scores of four or higher on eight or more of these exams. This year's recipient is Amelia Raquel Kitt. Congratulations on a job well done. AP Scholar with Distinction, granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. The students listed are receiving the AP Scholar with Distinction honor. AP Scholar with Honor, granted to students who receive an average score of 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on at least four or more exams. This year's AP Scholar with Honor students are Benjamin Collier, Savannah Deary, Lillian Holt, Tom Bay Moja, and James Speaker. Congratulations. AP Scholar, granted to students who receive scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. The students listed are designated as an AP Scholar. The National Merit Scholarship Program Letter of Commendation. This is awarded to students for outstanding performance on the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship qualifying test. And this award goes to Megan Elsa McGinnis. Congratulations, Megan. Jefferson Scholar. Thomas Jefferson's University of Virginia is a place where producing leaders for a self-governing people has always been a primary goal. The undergraduate scholarship program has been attracting and cultivating undergraduate leaders since 1980, providing them with sufficient financial support so that they are free to develop their talents and to use them for the good of the university community intended to cover the entire cost of attendance for four years at the University of Virginia and also includes an extensive enrichment program which supports and nurtures these students throughout their four years at UVA. The nominee for this award is Catherine Marie Aziz. Congratulations, Catherine. Governor Scholar Program. To be a Governor Scholar through Virginia Western Community College, students must complete the requirements for the transferable general education certificate or an associate's degree that transfers to a four-year college while in high school. This rigorous pathway can be accomplished using a combination of dual enrollment classes offered at the high school level or AP exam credits and classes offered on the Virginia Western Community College campus. This year's recipient is Carlin Bumgarner. Carlin is scheduled to graduate with an associate's degree from Virginia Western Community College this summer. Congratulations, Carlin. Hello, my name is Alex Schmidt and I'm the band teacher here at Patrick Henry High School. I'm also one of the co-faculty advisors. On behalf of myself, uh, Ms. Kavon Fields and Mr. Kyle LaFollette, the other co-faculty advisors, we are beyond honored to recognize two outstanding National Honor Society students for the NHS Scholar Awards this school year. These two fabulous NHS members have gone above and beyond representing PH and holding up to the four pillars of the National Honor Society, service, scholarship, character, and leadership. It's our honor to announce that the two NHS Scholar Award winners this year are our co-presidents, Miss Julia Bledsoe and Miss Carlin Baumgartner. Congratulations, ladies. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Beatrice Ponton. I am here to present the awards for the Spanish class. Dear students, it is with great honor and my greatest pleasure 
to present these awards, recognizing students as special as you all are. The excellent certificate is awarded to those students they have taken all Spanish level and obtained a score of three or higher in the AP Spanish Language and Literature exam. It is also a award for those students that achieve advanced knowledge and master the Spanish language. The achievement certificate is given to those students that are they have demonstrated interest in the Spanish language and receive an A grade in their class. We must notice that most of these students, they are active members to the Spanish National Honor Society and they will graduate with the corresponding honors. The students they receive the excellent certificate are Amelia Keith, Alexander Brownscon, Chloe Roberts, Delaney Smith, Catherine Assis, Megan McGuinness, Mary Membreño, Parisa Admasade, Savannah Dere. The following students they are they receive the Certificate of Achievement. Anthony Jablonski, Anna West, Ali Hosier, Lillian Holt, Tracy Harrison Callis. Congratulations to all the students and I wish you the best. I will keep you all of you in my heart and I will keep very good memories we build in our class and I love you and I will love you forever. You are the best students and I wish you the best in your life. Take care, God bless you and I love you and remember the Spanish teacher Miss Ponton always be there for you. Thank you and have a good day. Hi, I'm Ms. Storty, Teacher Advisor for the Student Council Association, and I am extremely honored and pleased to award Ms. Emma Kate Greer the SCA Presidential Award. Emma Kate has been a loyal and dedicated member of SCA all four years in high school. She's held numerous positions um, and roles, and she is really dedicated and passionate about community service. She's definitely a girl that wants to change the world. So congratulations, Emma Kate. The Patrick Henry PTSA raises our hands to congratulate Yajun Wamungu Bora as the winner of the 2021 Scholarship for Students Planning a Career Working with Youth. We know you will be a champion for all students who cross your path. Congratulations. The Patrick Henry PTSA is proud to award a special star scholarship to the class of 2021. Congratulations, Anthony Jablonski. You inspire others with your eagerness and ambition to challenge yourself. We wish you continued success. I am Kathy Duncan. I'm the Director of Career and Technical Education for Roanoke City Public Schools. And this is one of my most favorite evenings of the year. The Rotec Foundation is proud to award scholarships to six very deserving students. And these scholarships are made possible by our valued sponsors like Magic City Auto Group along with individuals that donate funds. We will recognize two students that will be receiving the Lloyd Enoch Outstanding Career and Technical Education Scholarship. Each scholarship is $2,000. Our first recipient is Anthony Jablonski from Patrick Henry High School. Patrick Henry pre-engineering student Anthony Jablonski knows what it means to stay busy. An honor roll student, Anthony is a member of both the National Honor Society and the Spanish Honor Society. He has been an active member of Skills USA and twice placed second in the district for engineering and robotics. Anthony is also an accomplished musician and is a member of both the Patrick Henry Band and Orchestra. He's also performed with the Junior Regional Orchestra and the Roanoke Youth Symphony Ensemble. In his spare time, you can find Anthony with the PH baseball or chess teams, as well as assisting with numerous community service projects through his work with the Boy Scouts of America. Notably, this year, he earned his Eagle Scout. Anthony has been accepted to Roanoke College where he plans to pursue a career in engineering. Congratulations, Anthony. We're very proud of you. Congratulations, Anthony. Congratulations. Well done.
Our next two recipients will receive the Outstanding Achievement Award for $1,500. Michaela Trout from Patrick Henry High School. Michaela is a four-year Air Force Junior ROTC cadet and has excelled in every area of her life. In spite of numerous personal challenges, Michaela has maintained honor roll status while participating in school activities such as the Women's Concert Chamber Choir, the National Honor Society, and all the associated Air Force Junior ROTC activities. This, however, does not include her volunteer work with Special Olympics and Habitat for Humanity. Michaela hopes to attend VCU or UVA next year to pursue a career in biomedical sciences, and we could not be more proud of her. Congratulations, Michaela. Congratulations, Michaela. That's for you. Congratulations. We're proud well of you. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. Our last two recipients will be receiving the Mike Tony Workplace Readiness Award for $1,000. This first recipient is Lauren Hanger from Patrick Henry High School. Lauren is a two-year cosmetology student who's maintained academic excellence throughout her high school career. An honor roll student, Lauren has successfully demonstrated what it means to be passionate about your career. While participating in Skills USA activities, learning American Sign Language, and volunteering in community cleanup days, Lauren has also completed a successful internship at Azaria Salon and Day Spa. Lauren hopes to work as a cosmetologist upon graduation while taking business classes at Virginia Western. It is her dream one day to open her own salon, and we want to encourage her with that. Congratulations, Lauren. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> We're proud of you. <laughs> That's wonderful. When you open that salon, call us. Greetings to the Patrick Henry Virtual Senior Award Ceremony. The Roanoke City Retired Educators Association is pleased to announce our 2021 $1,000 scholarship recipients. These annual scholarships are awarded to students who plan to pursue a career in education. This year's honorees are Hannah Sparrow and Monye Walker. Both of these young ladies are members of Patrick Henry's chapter of the National Honor Society and the Teach for Tomorrow program. These scholarships are awarded on the basis of academics, character references, and extracurricular activities. Congratulations and best wishes to Monier and Hannah as they pursue their future careers. Hello, I'm Miss E, high school counselor at Patrick Henry, here to announce the recipients of the Homer O. Amos Memorial Scholarship awarded by the Community Foundation. The recipients are Kadeen Brown, Duyusheme Janetti, Michaela Parker, Monye Walker, and Olivia Goodman. Congratulations. The Betty Nichols Guthrie Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 is awarded to Rachel Roberts and Connor Schultz. Congratulations, Connor and Rachel. Hello, my name is Kwanya Jeffries and I am a school counselor at Patrick Henry High School. It is my honor to announce a few community foundation scholarships. The first recipient is Megan McGinnis. Megan was awarded the Clarissa Edwards Nolan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,900. Megan also received the Cave Spring Lions Club Scholarship in the amount of $700. Congratulations, Megan. The next recipient is Michael Wiley. Michael was awarded the Jocelyn Lee Ferrelli Music Education Scholarship in the amount of $850. Once again, congratulations, students. Good evening, I'm Kavon Fields, one of the school counselors here at Patrick Henry High School. I'm going to announce three scholarship awards from the Community Foundation. Davis B. and Barbara J. Francis Scholarship Fund has been awarded to Olivia Goodman in the amount of $1,100. Dr. Robert A. Pruner Memorial Scholarship Fund has been awarded to Nicholas Jordan in the amount of $1,000. David Roller Memorial Scholarship Fund 
has been awarded to Isaac Harmon in the amount of $500. Congratulations. The City School Foundation Scholarship is awarded in the amount of $300 to Michael Wiley. Congratulations. Congratulations to Rachel Roberts, recipient of both the Michael Dean Williams Memorial Scholarship as well as the Salian Bo Terry Scholarship. Congratulations, Rachel. The Ronald L. Mayfield Jr. Scholarship. This scholarship in the amount of $700 is awarded to Tushime Janetti. Congratulations, Tushime. This year's recipient of the John W. Wilkes, MD, Excellence in Science Memorial Scholarship is Heidi Ruiz Lopez. Congratulations, Heidi. The Jean L. Price Scholarship is awarded in the amount of $3,400 to Kadeen Brown and to Shime Gennetti. Congratulations, ladies. It's my pleasure to present the Principal's Fitzer Award to Savannah Neary. Good evening. It's my pleasure to present the Principal's Leadership Fitzer Award to Samuel English. The Benet Brith Athletic Achievement Award. Nominees are chosen by a committee appointed by the principal of each school in Roanoke City, Roanoke County, and Salem. The nominees are based on the student's athletic participation and recognition, grades, class standing, scholastic awards, national testing, honor society, service to community, and extracurricular activities. This year's winners of the Benet Brith Athletic Achievement Award are Charles Downs and Megan McGinnis. Congratulations. Congrats, Patrick Henry High School Class of 2021. What a crazy year to be finishing this very important step in your life. We know it's been tough. We know it's been exhausting. You've tolerated a lot, but look, you're here. My name is Ruth Castle. I'm the Director of Operations at Bradley Free Clinic. I'm excited this year to say a very special congratulations to this year's recipient of the Dr. Frank England Scholarship. Charles Down has been the president of the Lutheran Youth Organization in Virginia and served on the board for the last five years. He's also an Eagle Scout and has already done so much as he's gotten to this day, this very important graduation day for all of you. Congratulations, Charles. We understand that you're on your way to Virginia Military Institute and then after that, you want to pursue medicine in the Army. That's exactly what Dr. England wanted to support. Dr. England was a cardiologist in our area, and he wanted to invest in young lives who are interested in pursuing a career in medicine. And that, of course, is so important to us here at Bradley Free Clinic, where we strive to be a training ground for future healthcare professionals. So thank you for your application. Congratulations on your award, Charles. And we really wish the best to all of you as you pursue your passion and the next step and what is a, going to be a great year and life ahead. Good afternoon, Patrick Henry High School. My name is Lorena Wilson. I am the founder of the Marcus M. Wilson Scholarship. Today, I have the pleasure and honor to present to you our 2021 and 2022 scholarship recipients. Our first recipient is Yajunwa Mungu Bora. Our second recipient is Daphne Joseph. And our third recipient is Connor Schultz. You all have done such a phenomenal job, even during this pandemic. You made a way, you, take, you stayed determined, and we're so proud of you. So go on out there and do great things, and thank you. Hello, this is Miss E, high school counselor at Patrick Henry, announcing the recipients to the Ann Summers Bailey Scholarship. The Ann Summers Bailey Scholarship is awarded to 20 students who are in the top 10% based on academics. The award is in the sum of $2,000 per recipient. This year's 2021 recipients are Catherine Aziz, Megan McGinnis, Amelia Kitt, Sarah Riddle, Catherine Giles, Benjamin Anderson, William Branscombe, Owen Himmel, Delaney Smith, Lillian Holt, Savannah Deary, Parisha Amadzadu, Sophia Smith, Stephen Andes, Margaret McKernan, Connor Schultz, 
Allison Hoiser, Anna West, Tracy Callis, and Daphne Joseph. Congratulations and well done. Booker T. Washington Fannie Phelps Scholarship. The amount of this scholarship is $1,500. This year's recipient is Amelia Kitt. Congratulations, Amelia. The recipient of the Rachel Wheaton Achievement Award is T. Ushemi Janetti. She best exemplifies excellence in academic achievement and the ideals of leadership, citizenship, and character. T. Ushemi Janetti has been on the swim team and soccer team. Also, she has become a member of the FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Choir, and National Honor Society. She will be attending Virginia Commonwealth University in the fall, majoring in health sciences with a career goal to become an occupational therapist. T. Ushemi has exhibited exceptional scholarship, a strong determination, a dedicated commitment to others, and a belief in education. Congratulations to you, Shami Janetti. I wish you much success in your future endeavors. Hello, my name is Connie Ratcliffe. A very wise person once told me, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. It's my privilege to present the 2021 Humanitarian Award to a young lady selected by the Patrick Henry staff who consistently demonstrates caring, compassion, and empathy for others. Congratulations to Savannah Derry. I'm Emmy, I'm Chloe, and we're proud to present this year's recipient of the Alexa Cannon Art Scholarship. This year, the deserving recipient is Ethan Covington. Congratulations. Congratulations. Best of luck at Longwood University. Mrs. Fiddler, the School Counseling Coordinator. Tonight, I have the honor of recognizing the 2021 Student Hall of Fame inductees. The students are selected by faculty and staff of Patrick Henry High School for their true patriot spirit. This year's Hall of Fame inductees are Savannah Grace Deary and James Cameron Speaker. Congratulations. Hello, my name is David Higgs, and I'm here to announce the EL Seniors of the Year. Uh, there are two of them, um, but before I do that, I would like to uh, wish all the best to all of the PH Seniors as you um, move on to a different chapter in your lives. Um, okay, without further ado, uh, I would like to announce our two EL Seniors of the Year. The first award goes to a dedicated athlete, a dedicated student, and a, an, an overall gentleman. Um, I'm confident that he will uh, do great things in the future and uh, because he's a great young man. And that is Eric Kilosha. There he is. Our second award goes to uh, a student who came to this country under uh, um, tremendously difficult circumstances um, although you wouldn't know it um, because she handled it with such uh, determination and grace and and all at such a, a young age and um, she has persevered with a smile and a song and she is truly truly special that's Key Lasso there she is uh, congratulations to you both, and we're going to miss you next year. Hi, my name is Katie Trier. I'm the American Sign Language teacher. The ASL Senior Award goes to Caroline Craig for her outstanding performance in levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. The Patrick Henry Mathematics Department recognizes the following seniors who have been named Student of the Year in their math courses. In Algebra 2, Jean-Vierre Fataki. In Function Statistics and Trig, Callie Black. In AP Statistics, 
Sophia Smith, and Savannah Derry. And the 2021 Senior Math Award is presented to Cameron Speaker. Congratulations to each of you. Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Leslie, and I'm an administrator with Patrick Henry High School, and I'm here to announce the Science Awards for the graduating class of 2021. In the area of chemistry, the award goes to Nicholas Mayallo. In the area of advanced placement environmental science, we have three awards, Frank Andes, Tanaya Borders, and Sophia Smith. For advanced placement biology, the award goes to Samantha DeSoto. There are two awards for advanced placement chemistry, and those go to Savannah Derry and Parisa Amadazade. Congratulations, seniors. My name is Diane Scola. I teach AP government and dual enrollment government here at Patrick Henry, and I am really, really excited to be presenting today the awards for government classes. Um, I have five awards today. The first is for Mr. Agee's um, US and Virginia government class, and the student selected is Anna Kayakspa Hernandez. Congratulations. The second is from Mr. Shanahan's classes, and that is Zoe Martin. Congratulations, Zoe. The third is from Ms. Gertis's classes, and she has selected Nicholas Mayola. And finally, from my AP government and dual enrollment classes, I've chosen two students and I wish I could have chosen many more. I had a lot of great students this year, but I looked for a couple that not only had good academics, but had the things that government were about, some sense of civic virtue and helping others, and um, also just the willingness to participate in making government better. So my two selections are Cameron Speaker and Annalena Cass. Congratulations to all five of you, and we are so happy to have had the opportunity to teach you this year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ms. Schmidt. I am the choir teacher here at Patrick Henry High School, and I am here to announce the 2021 Senior Choir Awards. First up, we have the Choral Spirit Award. This award goes to the student that is most spirited, excited, enthusiastic, brings a positive energy and vibe to the room, always smiling. Uh, no matter what's going on, they do their best to try to keep the atmosphere in the room positive and excited. And I am happy, and this was an easy one, um, ready to announce that the senior choir member who gets the Choral Spirit Award is Jeanette Tuyashime. Next up, we have the Choral Leadership Award, and this goes to a leader in the choir, somebody who others look to as an example, somebody who's been in the program all the way through, um, been in multiple ensembles, always willing to help those who are more beginner or younger, and somebody who strives to uh, work on their character and their leadership skills inside and outside of the choir class. And this award goes to Michaela Trout. The third award we have is the most improved choir student. This student is the student who has come along the furthest, usually a very hard worker, very dedicated, um, and they uh, put in all their effort all the time. And this student has grown over the past four years immensely within the choir classroom. And this senior is Jonas Gleiner. And last, we have the most outstanding choir member. This student encompasses all of the skill sets and characteristics of the other three awards and more. This is somebody who always exceeds expectations, is a leader for others, achieves excellence, always willing to go outside of their comfort zone and try new things, um, and achieves greatness within the choir classroom. And the senior who earned this award and definitely deserves it, is Isaac Harmon. And that wraps up our choir awards. Congratulations to our seniors. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what you'll do in the future.
Hello, my name is Michelle Larico and I'm the theater director here at Patrick Henry High School. I am so proud of the class of 2021. You guys have made it through this year so you can make it through anything. We are excited for what's to come and we just know that you have a lot to look forward to after graduation. Before we conclude this year, I would like to acknowledge a couple of stellar students who were involved in either the film studies class, theater classes, or PH Players Drama Club. The first student I would like to recognize as the filmmaker in the making is Isaac Harmon. Now, Isaac Harmon did not take film studies, however, he was in my theater classes and has been in almost all of the fine arts classes here at PH. He is a stellar student. He is part of the Grandin um, film lab and he is just a joy to work with and I know that he has a bright future ahead so congratulations Isaac Harmon. For the next award I would love to present the designer to watch award to Angela Grace Penn. Grace has been a part of PH Players for almost her entire career here at PH, and she has worked in sound and worked her way up to be a sound designer, and she did such an incredible job this year uh, running sound, not only for the Disney concert, which was an experience that we had outdoors, she had to run live sound for a drive-in theater experience, uh, which was totally new to all of us, and she did an incredible job, um, but she also did all of the sound design for the Drowsy Chaperone, which was so beautifully done. She has a bright future ahead and she is just about the most genuine sweet person ever. So proud of you Grace and cannot wait to see what you do next. For this year's most likely to be on Broadway award I have to give this one to Chloe Cannon. Chloe is such a stellar student, a wonderful human to be around, and she also is a triple threat. Dancing, acting, singing, she does them all flawlessly. She has amazing instincts, she has room to grow and leaves room to grow, which makes me so excited for what's to come for her future. I just know that Chloe will be performing on the Broadway stage one day if she just goes for it. So I am so excited, Chloe, for your future for Boston Conservatory. They are so lucky to have you in their performing arts program and their dance program. I really hope that you do some auditioning because um, I can see you with your name in lights uh, on the Broadway stage. So proud of you. And finally, for the most outstanding theater student, and also the Theater Leadership Award. Both awards have to go to Olivia Goodman. Olivia is a very special student of mine. I had her as a student before I even started here at PH when I worked at Mill Mountain Theater, and I have seen her grow so tremendously since my time here at PH. Um, she is already working professionally at Virginia Children's Theater and Mill Mountain Theater, um, and I have been so blessed to have her in my classes, have her as the president of the PH Players, and I could not have asked for a better Janet Vandergraaff as our lead in our spring musical this year. So Olivia, you are such an amazing human being and you have so much going for you. You are so talented as a performer, but also as a choreographer, as a director, as a leader. And I really cannot wait to see what you do at SUNY Cortland as you pursue your musical theater degree. So proud of you. This concludes our awards ceremony this evening. Congratulations, seniors, on a job well done. Remember that you can pick up your awards in the bus loop on June 4th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Congratulations.